In this video, I'm going to run through my top seven favorite Leathermans that you can buy right now and explain what makes them special and who they are for. So what are my top picks when it comes to choosing a Leatherman? Well, let's do this in reverse order, starting at number seven. This is the Crunch, and this appeared in 1999 and stands out as unique in the multi-tool world. These are lock-in plies, otherwise called mole grips or vice grips, in what is a very compact multi-tool. Let me quickly show you how it works. You simply open up the handles, move the jaws into position and then they lock in place like that. Then use this screw to adjust the opening of the jaws here. Simply grab whatever it is you want to grip and squeeze and they will lock onto whatever you're holding with a significant amount of gripping force. And anyone working with nuts and bolts or pipes and rods or any metalwork will really appreciate the usefulness of a tool like this. Let's have a quick look at the other tools on offer here and they're contained within one of the handles. And we have here a file with a single cut and a cross cut profile. And we also have a three dimensional Phillips and a small but precision flathead screwdriver. We then have a medium flathead screwdriver and then we have the blade. Now the blade is quite unusual. It's got a serrated edge and a sheep's foot profile. And I think that's because ordinarily you would probably use this tool alongside other tools. It wouldn't necessarily be your first choice and therefore you might already be carrying a tool or a standalone knife with a straight edge. All the tools lock into place including the blade which means technically speaking this tool is not legal for UK carry. Then there are a couple of extra features as well including the wire strippers here built into the handle and then in the handle here a quarter inch hex driver. You need to remove this screw so it's a little bit faffy there it is there. And that will take both normal hex bits. So now I've got a very useful screwdriver and usefully it will also take Leatherman flat bits as well. So again, very useful. When closed, this tool is very compact indeed when you factor in the capability and it's also lightweight at just 190 grams or 6.9 ounces. And who's it for? Well, a mechanic springs to mind or a plumber or perhaps an engineer. As for me, I carry one of these in my bike toolkit. The price is around $120 or 140 pounds. All the prices quoted here are from Leatherman's official website, so there may be lower cost options in some cases. And generally, you'll see that prices in the US are more affordable than those in the UK and other parts of the world, and that's because Leatherman's are made in the USA, and therefore, there'll always be added costs to ship anywhere else. And as always, I'll provide links to everything featured in the description down below. At number six, we have the Leatherman Free P2, and this incorporates Leatherman's latest innovations and was released in 2019 as a radical design shift. When it was launched, it received a lot of mixed, and by mixed, I mean bad press, and there's no doubt it does have its drawbacks, but it has some really notable positives too. There is a magnetic system at work here, which makes the tools quick and easy to access, but because of that, you have to make sure you keep it well away from any metal filings. All the tools here are externally accessible and deploy smoothly. In fact, access to the tool set is easier than in any other Leatherman. And that is a big plus when compared with the more conventional Leatherman designs. The word which springs to mind with this tool is refined. The locking system here is really nicely implemented and it feels really secure and it's really easy to operate. And we have here a really substantial deep carry pocket clip, which is always nice to see. The pliers are the only tool here which requires the handles to be opened up and this can be done easily with one hand and that's a really nice feature of this tool. In fact, the whole tool can be used single-handedly if necessary. The ply head is very capable with these replaceable hard wire wire cutters, but the handles can be painful to use if squeezed hard at the base due to these indentations here. Then if we look at the other tools, the main blade 
is a combination blade, part serrated and part straight to edge. And for some, that will be a deal breaker, but I actually think it's an option that works with this particular tool. The blade is single-handed opening and also locking, so that rules it out for public carry in several countries, including the UK. The scissors here are great on this tool. They're quick to access and they're a useful size. We have a two-dimensional Phillips screwdriver here and three flathead screwdrivers, one of which doubles up as an awl, all for relatively light use, I would say. We also have this package opener stroke pry tool and we have here a can opener, which can also double up as a bottle opener. And then these two flathead screwdrivers here double up as a rather impractical file and ruler. The weight of this multi-tool comes in at a reasonable 215 grams or 7.6 ounces. And despite some of the tool limitations, this is actually a great looking and well engineered tool that is quick and easy to use with a real quality feel. This is more of a lighter duty tool in my book, although I should point out that these pliers are as good as any. And I would say you're more likely to find this in a desk drawer than say on a workshop bench. Let's say more briefcase or work pack than a tool case or backpack. And when you see it in those terms, this is actually a very practical multi-tool. Now there is a more expensive and larger P4 version, which has a separate straight edge and serrated blade and also adds a saw blade. But in my view, that puts this into a heavier use category, which is not where I see this tool. The price for the P2 is $130 or £150, so do prepare to pay a bit more for the engineering technology found in here. At number five, we have the knifeless rebar. The rebar is an affordable but very capable Leatherman in the original Leatherman style. And as you can see, in this case, none of the tools are externally accessible. The rebar approach is in fact the opposite of what we've just seen with the P2. This is unrefined and slow in comparison, but the tools are in the main more capable and heavier duty. And that for many is what counts. And the old school design helps to keep this tool compact and relatively lightweight at 190 grams or 6.7 ounces. Launched in 2012, the standard rebar comes with a straight edge blade and a serrated blade. However, the knifeless version here swaps these out for scissors, which I think is a good alternative if you don't want a knife in here. And the fact that this version is knifeless is the reason it made it onto my list because this, in my view, is the best Leatherman multi-tool you can buy that is legal to carry outside the home in countries like the UK that have banned the carrying of locking knives. Not all is lost though, as I can carry this multi-tool alongside a separate non-locking knife such as this Spyderco UKPK. And I now have a legal carry solution, which means I won't get arrested when I'm on my way to put up a shelf at the local village hall. You do really get a comprehensive tool set with this rebar, and I would argue it's everything you would need apart from that knife. So you have scissors, a medium-sized flathead screwdriver, a smaller flathead screwdriver. You've got here a reamer or awl, with a bladed edge and also a wood saw. Then you have a file with a straight cut and cross cut profile and a bottle opener, a stroke can opener and a three dimensional Phillips screwdriver which copes with number one and number two Phillips. And then you have a fold out lanyard hole there. And in addition to that, you get the needle nose pliers with replaceable hard wire cutters. I did consider the Leatherman Bond when looking for a UK legal to carry multi-tool and this was created to combat these knife carry laws by having a non-locking knife blade here. But you don't get a saw or scissors on this tool which is why I prefer the rebar option. For those that don't have the knife restrictions, the standard rebar is a great tool but do bear in mind that there are no scissors in that version. And as for the price, the knifeless rebar comes in at a very reasonable $80 or 95 pounds. And at number four, we have the Micra. This is a scissor-based mini multi-tool and this has been around since 1996. And in my view, this is the best keyring sized multi-tool you can buy. And I carried this in the fifth pocket of my jeans every day for many years, long before everyday carry was a thing. 
And I've had loads of these over the years because I would often have them confiscated at airports, forgetting I had them on me, or I would sometimes lose one and have to buy another. In fact, here are some of the lost ones that turned up after I moved house some time back. Every millimeter of space in here has been put to good use, starting with these brilliant scissors. And these are probably as large and as good, if not better than any scissors on any Leatherman of any size. And for me, I find scissors more useful than mini pliers you find on some of the other options. The other tools in here are not externally accessible and this is old school Leatherman design and I don't mind that because it's one reason why the thing is so compact and also pretty lightweight too at 49 grams or 1.73 ounces. The remaining tools consist of this small screwdriver with built-in bottle opener, this two-dimensional Phillips screwdriver and we have some tweezers. Then we have a diamond nail file and nail cleaner, a medium flathead screwdriver and the knife. And then we also have a keyring loop. If this is all you carry, you won't be disappointed and you will use it multiple times a day as I did for many years. So this I would say is a multi-tool for everyone and that's why it's on my list. As for the price, this comes in at $35 or 45 pounds. At number three, we have the Skelly Tool. Now the minimum practical tool set you would expect in a multi-tool is a knife, pliers, and a screwdriver. And that is exactly what you get with the Skelly Tool, along with a great design aimed at minimizing weight, which comes in at a super light 142 grams or five ounces. The Skelly Tool was launched in 2006 as a compact and lightweight tool. And that means it's easy to carry, which means you carry it more. And reinforcing the carry theme, we have a built-in pocket clip here and also a carabiner so it can be quickly and easily attached to a bag or a belt loop. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a lanyard loop. Other features include a single-handed opening blade which rules it out for public carry in Germany. And then we have a liner lock which rules it out for public carry in the UK. The pliers are a practical needle nose type with hard wire cutters. The screwdriver is fixed into position and comes with two double-ended Leatherman flat bits, one held in the tool here and the other one tucked away into the side of the tool. So you have four screwdrivers in total. And then we also have this bottle opener built into the carabiner. There are a few versions of the Skelly Tool. This particular one is the more expensive CX, which has a better 154 cm blade steel with a straight edge. The standard version comes with a combination straight and serrated blade, which is not often well received and it's made from a lower quality 420 HC steel. So this tool is a great example of less equals more. And in my view, the best Leatherman multi-tool for everyday carry. And also for those who like to carry a multi-tool, but are like me, always looking to minimize weight and bulk. And the price, well, the standard version costs $75 or 90 pounds. And the CX version shown here costs $90 or 120 pounds. Coming in at number two, we have the Surge, and this first came to market in 2005, and this is a beast of a tool at four and a half inches in length and weighing in at a rather hefty 335 grams or 12.5 ounces. This is a serious tool and can be put to proper daily heavy duty use. And so it's aimed at those who already work with tools or who will appreciate the fact that they can effectively carry a toolbox on their belt. You have here four outside accessible tools, a straight edge blade in 420HC, which could really do with a steel upgrade, and also a serrated blade. Both blades are single-handed opening, sorry Germany, and have liner locks, sorry UK. We also have externally accessible scissors, which are nearly as big as the ones on the Micro. See, I told you the Micro was good. We also have this blade exchanger so this saw blade can be swapped for the included diamond file here and also other t-shank blades like the ones found in many jigsaws the internal tools are all locking and consist of two flathead screwdrivers 
and the bit exchanger. And that seems a little bit odd to me. The large blade will double up as a great pry tool, but the smaller flathead seems like a bit of a wasted opportunity when you have that bit exchanger in here. We also have the awl with a bladed edge and a sewing eye and also the can opener come bottle opener. The plier head is needle nose and strengthened with the extra bulk here and has replaceable hard wire cutters. And the grip when using the pliers is also exceptionally comfortable thanks to this rounded edge profile. I carry the Surge if I'm on serious DIY duty and for maximum utility I keep it in this case with this bit kit and the diamond file and I also carry this Leatherman ratchet driver to level up the screwdriver for reach and speed of use. And when it comes to getting stuff done I can't think of another multi-tool which can beat this one Leatherman or otherwise and that's why it's at number two on the list. The price is a very reasonable $150 or a slightly less reasonable £180. And that brings me nicely to my number one choice of Leatherman multi-tool and it probably won't come as a surprise. We're talking about the best-selling multi-tool in the world, the Leatherman Wave Plus. If I was allowed only one multi-tool out of the entire Leatherman range it would have to be this one. It is a great combination of size, utility, price, looks, comfort and weight and this thing weighs 241 grams or 8.5 ounces. Not too big, not too heavy, not too small, and it has a great tool set. We have here single-handed opening accessible tools, but you're in luck Germany this time, as there is now a two-handed version of the Wave called the 2H to make it legal carry for you. All the blades and tools here are lock-in, so I'm afraid UK that pretty much rules you out again for public carry. So you get quick access to a straight blade which is 420 HC and also a serrated blade. Then we also have the diamond file which has a crosscut file on the back and then we also have the saw blade. Internally we have a large flathead screwdriver which doubles up as a pry bar and some okay scissors. Then we have this tiny double-ended eyeglass screwdriver, which I don't really like much in this tool. Then we have the bit exchanger, which I do like. And then we have the can opener, stroke bottle opener, but there's unfortunately no all. The needle nose pliers here have replaceable hard wire cutters in this third generation of this tool. And the rounded profile on the handle makes for a super comfortable grip. So this is very much the multi-tool for the people, the great all-rounder. In fact, I remember when the original Wave was first launched in 1998. At that time, I had 50 gadget shop stores all in the UK and we sold Leathermans as part of our range. And the Wave looked like nothing that came before it and flew off the shelves. And this gold-plated Leatherman here was presented to me in recognition of the sales we made at the time. So the Leatherman Wave has for me always been a bit special. So in 1998 this was the best all-round Leatherman you could buy and amazingly 25 years later it's still the best all-round Leatherman you can buy and that's why it's my number one. As for the price it costs $120 or £135. And here they all are, so you can compare them all for size. We've got the Crunch, the Free P2, the Knifeless Rebar, the Micra, the Skeletal CX, the Surge, and the Wave Plus. A list like this is always going to be subjective, so do feel free to share your list or favourite Leatherman in the comments below. And if you want to see some of my more in-depth Leatherman reviews and comparisons, then just click on this link here. And if you'd like to see my top eight Victorinox knives, then click here. So that's it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. Do please consider subscribing if this is your sort of thing, and I hope you can join me in the next one.